Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel and today we are on question number 7 of 1000 and today's question is how do you color correct your videos? So today I'm going to be showing you the easiest way to color correct your videos and for that there's a plugin that I normally use when I'm doing color correcting for my videos and that is Colorista plugin. So Colorista uh, you can download it from my website if you are into my course uh, Video Editing Pro. All these softwares that I'm talking about, all these plugins, they are already there on my website. You can just download them. So if you have downloaded them, uh, let me go to my computer here. Uh, you see uh, Red Giant Magic Bullet Suite. And then you just double click on Red uh, Magic Bullet Suite, just like that. Just click yes. The installation is actually very easy. Just say agree and continue. So you can see we have uh, Colorista 5 here actually. So once you install this pack, you just click install. Once you install this pack, everything else will be installed in your Adobe Premiere Pro. So I have already installed it. So let's just get straight into Adobe Premiere Pro so that I can show you how I do color correct my videos. So I'm gonna open Adobe Premiere Pro and uh, I'm gonna get this clip just drag and drop it in the timeline like that so this this was actually a clip for a music video i'm just gonna look for a spot that kind of like looks okay uh, maybe okay maybe here and then i'll just go to my effects here and then search for colorista colorista you can see colorista plugin is here just drag and drop it on your footage and then go to the effects control and then open guided color correction. So uh, here you just click next. And then here you have to tell Colorista what picture style did you use to shoot this video. So as you can see, the video was shot in a, in a, log, uh, in a log picture style. So I used red log, that's the one that I used. So I'm just going to select a log. But if you shot your video into maybe a standard picture profile, you can use video. Uh, if you chose, uh, you used another picture profile, like which is flat, you can just choose flat here. Or if you don't know, you can just say, I don't know. So if you are color correcting a video that you don't know which picture style they used, you can just click, I don't know here. So for me, I know it was log. So I'm just going to select log and then click next. And then here, uh, the black levels, I'm going to adjust it to where, you know, Colorista has got these suggest uh, suggestions, markers, which you can use to, you know. So if you drag this too much, you see the blue lines appearing here, which means you are clipping the blacks. So you want to adjust this slider until you cannot see any blues in the video. Uh, somewhere around here, it should be fine. Notice that I didn't really put it on the... On the suggested marker here because uh, when i put it on the suggested marker you can see on the nose and on the eyes i can start to see blues so i'm just pushing it a little bit to the whiter side and once i'm done i'll just go next and then the white levels i'm gonna drag the white levels all the way you can see on the switch here i'm starting to have this red so if you take the white too much you see that you are losing details. Wherever you are seeing these reds, just know that you are losing details there. So make sure you also adjust it. So if I come here to the suggested marker, you can see on the switch here, I still have a red spot. It means I'm taking out details from that spot. So I like to just put it uh, where those red markers disappear. Uh, here looks perfect. And then I'll click OK. Uh, on the mid-tones, uh, it is just exactly where it is suggesting. So I'm just going to bring it there and then I'll click next. And then on the contrast, I'll just bring it to the suggested marker. And then I'll click next. And then on the color, on the saturation, uh, I'll take it straight to where it is suggesting. And then click next. And then here we have a color balance, right? So this is more like a, a quick white balance uh, situation happening. So if you have something that is natural gray, you can just uh, click this eyedropper here and select for anything that has got natural gray 
in your image. But as you can see, there isn't really anything that is natural gray in my image. So I'm just gonna change it. I'm just gonna change it from natural gray to skin tone. So I know that I have a lot of skin tone. So I'm just gonna take this eyedropper and select anywhere where there's the skin and it will do some sort of like a white balance for me. And then, yeah, you can go in here and adjust these sliders to your taste. I can see it is too much yellow. So I'm just gonna bring a little bit, I'm, I'm just gonna make it a little bit cooler. By the way, when you are color correcting, you have a look that you are going for in your mind, how you're gonna color grade because color correction comes before color grading. So this is just a preparation where uh, you want to have everything, all the colors balanced in your image basically. So I'm gonna click next once I'm done here. You can see the before and the after. Then I, I just click finished. So this is a color corrected uh, clip. You can see it almost looks nice already. So if you don't like how it looks, you can now use uh, Lumetric color, a basic color correction, and then you can start adjusting uh, these other items here, which I, I don't use much. But in this case where I see um, it looks a little bit yellowish, and then I'm just gonna try and color correct it with the white balance selector. I'm just gonna click the white balance selector and select anywhere in the image where there's white. So I can see this switch is white. I'm just gonna click in there, and then it will do also automatic, a sort of like an automatic color balance for me. And then I'm just gonna bring it a little bit back to my test. Either way, this is what we have. This is what was there before. This is what we have now. So Colorista plugin is really, really very handy, especially when it comes to color correction. It has got no hassles at all. It is almost an automatic thing. So that is how you do color correction using Colorista plugin. If you have any questions, you can just drop them in the comment section below. I'll see you in the next video. This is it. Peace.